Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we have my reaction to um, my Scottish Premiership um, predictions. Um, so we've got our first to 12, um, you know, in, in, in the league, obviously. Then we have the Player of the Year, your Player of the Year and Signing of the Year. Um, now these were all done I believe on the 3rd of August, so one game had been played uh, for each team. Um, so, so yeah, I didn't really have much of a head start. Um, but yeah, that being said, it's a bit early now. Top on predictions, uh, and I know it's a long intro here, there will be weekly Euro predictions um, coming out. Um, yes, uh, once the year starts. Um, and I'll give my team, my team from um, you know, 2021 for Scotland. Now, without further ado, let's get straight in here. In 12th place, I had um, Hamilton, and that was my first one correct. And I'll just say, I've done better than last year in this, so uh, it's, it's always a bonus on my being up front. Um, in 11th place, uh, I wasn't too far, it was only because what uh, the commotion um, today on the final day, or maybe yesterday, I don't know. Um, I had Ross County in 11th, um, but obviously they just escaped that um, on the final day, and it was Kilmarnock in actual fact, so they will take on Dundee uh, sometime this week. spot if you will. Um, anyway, 10th place I had the Saints of the Manon. It was Ross County, uh, I said there. Ninth, um, the, a lot of people have got this wrong. I had St Johnston, uh, probably what I did underestimate them a lot, as probably did everyone. Two, well, a cup win, a North Cup final, and they finished fifth. Yeah, they finished fifth. So, yeah, um, so Johnston, uh, in actual fact, Dundee United, um, who I had an 8th, um, which they yeah, obviously was wrong. But I will manage to get an 8th spot, and that, had, I can tell you, no one got my own right. No one got my own right. Because, um, I mean, they were so good last season, they finished 4th. Or 3rd? Yeah, 3rd. So, uh, yeah, and they dropped down to 8th this season. Um, and then the 7th place I had to come on, like, you know, I had to say the bottom 6, that was absolutely horrific, I, I only got the one right, uh, I had to come on like in 7th, in actual fact it's St Mirren, so well done um, to, to Jim Goodwin um, on, on that, I know you're definitely watching Jim, totally, um, yeah, so I had Kelly, no, yeah I had Kelly, it was St Mirren, so we went through 12th, I had Hamilton, 11 Ross County, 10 St Mirren, 9 St Johnston, 8 Dundee United, and 7 Mark. In actual fact, it was Hamilton and La uh, 12th, 11th uh, Kilmarnock, 10 Ross County, 9 Dundee United, 8 Motherwell, and 7 St Mirren. Now, on to the top 6, the big dogs. Now, we're going to start off very high. I got Livingston correct. I had them in sixth spot. They were in sixth spot. Now next I had Aberdeen in fifth. Um they weren't that good this season. Stephen Glass has to be very good. I know they did. They got a good game against um, Celtic, but da, you know, it wasn't to be. Um so Aberdeen, um it was St Johnston, like it says we'll, we'll take a four seconds of applause for St Johnston. I had the mighty well, um, but, but they weren't very mighty this year, it was just well, um, well, uh, uh, it was Aberdeen, so yes, Aberdeen, in third place, 
you can see the pattern that's going here, a new pattern will be here. In third place I had Hibs of Edinburgh and you already know what they uh, turned to but Hibs, they have had an absolute underrated season. I mean I know they do have 35 points ahead at the end but still they raced away from our, um, from Aberdeen midway during the season and had a great run of form um, a few times. So yeah, well done Hibs and in second place you just know who had and they finished second place. Glasgow Celtic. Um yeah, in second and in first that means Glasgow Rangers. We won the league number fifty five. So that's a solid 5 out of 12 for that. Right, now, um, for the player of the year, my uh, prediction was Ryan Kent, uh, mainly because he scored um, on on the Saturday, um, I put the territory, well, after the film, well, right before I filmed the video. Um, I don't know why I can remember that somewhere. Uh, yeah, so that's why I did him. Alan McGregor won it. I can't complain with that. I mean, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, all season, the amount of time you saved, even in Europe. Uh, you, you know, stuff like that. Now, my young player of the year, I actually went for Celtic player by the name Davy Turnbull. Um, Josh Boyd won it. Um, the, the hips defender. Um, yeah, he's a great start to the season. He doesn't play too often. Um, consistently, I mean, um, but yeah, he fell in very well for hips um, and did deserve to win the award. Now, my signing of the year, I said, well, I could find who it says until I looked at messages. Um, I was talking to someone last week who went through messages on Instagram and uh, it turns out this was in September the 6th or something or something. I said Kamar Roof. I know it was September 1st because the window just shut. Uh, yeah. Well Kamar Roof anyway. And myself, I'm going to give them that. Uh, because Kamar Roof has said he's not played every game, he's scored 14 goals, which is the second best in the league. He's played every game. In this one. He's not played every game. Um, I mean, he's got the best goals per game ratio in the league, which is 111 minutes per goal. And he also got 6 assists, so he's got 80 minutes. 80 minutes per goal involvement, so yeah, come on Ruth, wins it for me, that's all I've got to say in this video, thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll see you in the next video, also if you've got it this far, tell me who your player of the year is down below, goodbye.